And it's 10.49 on the Sunday Business Show. I am still Conal O'Mara on 53102, still the text number. If you are selling either a product or service, you'll love this one. There's a man called Kai Marcus Muller, a German neuroscientist, who says that you could be charging too little for your goods. Kai has developed a way of measuring brain waves and their reaction to prices. For example, according to Kai, Germans would happily pay €2.40 for a small cup of coffee in Starbucks as opposed to the €1.80 that they do charge. And Kai joins us live now from Stuttgart. Good morning, Kai. Good morning. Kai, this is very interesting. Uh, you have put a lot of science behind this because you're not just a Kai Marcus Muller, you're Dr. Kai Car- uh, Marcus <laughs> Muller. You are a brain box. You are CEO of the Neuromarketing Labs. Uh, yes, that's true. I'm both a scientist and an entrepreneur. And tell me what you have found and why we are charging too little. Well, um, we're, we're brain scientists and uh, we use brain scans to understand how people react to products and prices and advertisements. And uh, in the field of pricing, we conducted the following experiments. We hooked up people to an EEG machine, that is this um, cap that you put on your head with little wires coming out and um, it measures what people call brain waves. And uh, these brain waves, sometimes they can um, tell you something very insightful about what is actually um, going on in the brain. And so sometimes um, you can, if you set up your experiment well, you can um, get a match-mismatch signal. For instance, if I give you a sentence such as, um, I'm eating a sausage with mustard, you will get uh, somewhat of a yes response. But if you give someone another sentence such as, Um, I'm having a coffee with milk and mustard. To one and the same word mustard, you will get a different response because in one case it's a reasonable thing and in the other case it's not reasonable. And basically we do the same thing with prices. We hook up people to the EEG machine and um, give them a cup of coffee. For instance, in this case, a cup of Starbucks coffee um, and show them a price such as uh, 10 euros, and then we get a no response by the brain because that price does not fit the product. Um, As well as with a very low price, such as 10 cent, we also get a no response. But the best yes response in this study we got was 2 euro 40. And who else uses your your labs? Um, It's actually um, interesting for a lot of different industries such as retailers, um, such as um, fast-moving consumer goods, the car industry, um, publishing houses, you know, for like um, newspapers, magazines, um, whoever um, basically sells to human beings because basically human beings buy products and um, we want to figure out what's the best price and what's the best uh, advertisement, the best design for a, for a product. And have you found out for specifically with the newspapers, are we paying too much or too little for our newspapers? Um, in fact, that uh, depends on the newspaper. <laughs> I, I didn't study all of the newspapers, but um, um, it's, uh, it's an interesting question, you know. Um, sometimes if a product... Uh, has a high price, it also is perceived automatically more valuable. So, um, That in economics is called a given good, isn't that it? Excuse me? I think in economics that is called a given good. The more you pay, the more it's perceived to be value. Exactly, exactly. That's actually, yeah, it's, it's a psychological um, uh, phenomenon. It's uh, very prominent with wines, where there have been uh, studies uh, in brain scanners showing that more expensive wines evoke more pleasure and more positive feelings in the brain scanner as well as um, in questionnaires. Um, it's also true, for instance, for, um, for painkillers. Um, painkillers work better if they're more expensive. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, uh, Dr. Kai Marcus Muller, CEO of Neuromarketing Labs. Where could anybody get you if they want to test out your uh, your brain surgery or your brain science? And also, how much do you cost? <laughs> well, we're based in Stuttgart, Germany. However, we work international. Um, and uh, simply Google us at um, www.neuromarketing-labs.com. You put that up onto the website. And how Thank much you. do you charge? And, uh, well, uh, you know, in order to answer that question, I would actually have to put an, 
an EEG cap on ah, your head. Very good, like it, like it. <laughs> <laughs> so then I could tell you how much you're willing to pay for my services. <laughs> Kai, thank you very much for getting out of. Oh no, you're well out of bed. Of course, you're in Germany. Thank you very much for taking the call from the Sunday Business Show and continued success.